Good afternoon, Mr. Buffett, and good afternoon, Mr. Munger. My name is Monish Pabrai, and I'm from the Chicago area. Uh, Mr. Buffett, I'd like to thank you for all your insights over the years. Uh, I'm especially amazed at the pace at which you answer my letters, point by point. Um, I have a question for you related to circle of competence. Uh, I have a notion that both Mr. Munger and yourself understand the Kleiner Perkins model of early stage venture capital investing, and currently they're focused on the internet space extremely well. Uh, my notion is that I think it is well within your circle of competence to understand what they do, just like you understand your circle of competence to understand what they do just like you understand what your managers at Seas Candy or Executive Jets do. So the question is that uh, with the internet, I think we're seeing a change that has not been seen in the last 500 years uh, uh, as humans. We haven't seen something that is as dramatic and as profound that's uh, going to come upon us. Uh, if, uh, let's say, a John Doerr at Kleiner Perkins approached you and uh, said that they were starting, let's say, a billion dollar uh, early stage or later stage internet investment fund that Kleiner would manage, would you consider that, uh, would you consider participating in that investment uh, to be within your circle of competence if it were offered at terms that looked attractive? I, I, I agree with the first part of what you said. I mean, I, I'm not sure that it'll necessarily will be the most important thing in the last 500 years in the, in the commercial world, but it could well be, and if it isn't, it's right up there. I mean, it is, it is a, we talked about this last year and maybe even the year before. I mean, it is a huge development. But, uh, and I would say that Charlie and I both understand the process of, of uh, early investment slash promotion uh, probably as, as well as anyone. We haven't participated in it. There's certain things we don't even like about it, but we do understand it, right, Charlie? <laughs> and I would say that, no, we, we would not have an interest in investing in, in the fund. Uh, it, it, uh, uh, we do not necessarily regard the Internet there's no question, if, if you're in the early stages of promotion and you, particularly if you've got a, su 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 a reputation as a successful in that, but in this case it wouldn't make much difference because the whole field has gone wild, you will make a lot of money selling to the next stage and the next stage and the next stage. But in terms of picking out businesses that are going to do wonderfully as businesses, not as stocks for a while, but as businesses, I, I don't think it's necessarily so easy uh, in, in the Internet world. and I. I would say that if you were to uh, ask some very top names in the field to name the next five companies out of the shoot, or the next ten companies out of the shoot, and predict that one of them will earn, say, the $200 million I used as a threshold six or seven years from now, I'm not so sure they, they, if they gave you a list that they would name a single one. That doesn't mean they might not make a lot of money by being early investors in them because they sell out to the next group and so on. But in the end, they have to succeed as businesses. And a few will succeed as businesses. The Internet will have a huge impact on the world. But I'm not so sure that that makes it an easy investment decision. Charlie? Oh, at least it that makes it an easy investment decision. Charlie? Oh, at least it's not an easy investment decision for us. And that's what we're looking for. We will never turn our money over to somebody else. Uh, you know, if, if we're going to lose your money as Berkshire shareholders, we're going to lose it ourselves, and we're going to come back and look you in the eye and tell you how we lost it. Uh, we are not going to say, this game is too tough, so we'll give our money to somebody else. You can give your money to somebody else, and you don't need the intermediaries of, of, of me and Charlie to do it for you. So we, we get approached all the time. I had a call you know, within the last couple of days on something you, you would know very well about participating in some fund or they, they always have you know it's always 
stage one, stage two, stage three, and the idea is we get some more people to come in later at twice the price, and maybe the fact that our name is involved in it will cause people to pay even more and all of that sort of thing. We're not in that game. And we're not going to turn the money over to someone else to manage. It's your money. You gave it to us to manage. We'll manage it. If you decide you don't want us to manage it, you decide who you, who you give it to. It. We're not going to be intermediaries on it. And if, uh, if we don't understand something ourselves, we're not, we're not looking for any, anybody else to, to do it for us. It, the world doesn't work very well that way anyway. I mean, it, uh, usually you end up in the hands of the promoters and not the hands of the people who really know how to make money.